Here goes another strip. Careful. Okay. Put her on straight, Dad. How is it down there? Could you turn it just a little bit? There, that's it. All right, now we'll brush it on. Now, uh, Howard, hand me that brush, will you? Okay, but hold still. There you are. Thanks. Hi. Mmm, that's gorgeous. Pop! We eat. Oh, Martha, you're an angel. Well, it's to be expected, isn't it? Say, aren't you going to wash your hands? All right. All right. Why, how lovely. Glad you like it. Hold on just a minute. I'm nearly through with this strip. Who would have thought we'd ever managed to redecorate this room and do all the work ourselves? I'll get it. Hello? Oh, yes, Mrs. Burton. Just a minute. Mother, it's Mrs. Burton about the neighborhood club meeting. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Burton. You go ahead and eat. I've been wanting to talk to you. Couldn't the club meet here next month? Oh, you wouldn't know our place. What a difference. Yes, what a difference. That's a theme song at the Taylor home these days. And there is a big difference. Not only in the home, but in the family, too. To see how the Taylors came to change their home and their home life together, let's go back to another time Mrs. Burton called, some months ago. Hello? Oh, Mrs. Burton. Well, Mother isn't well. Oh, no, just, well, just run down. Tired out, I guess. The neighborhood club? Well, I'll ask her if she wants to join. I know she'd like to, but she never seems to have time for clubs or anything, even when she's well. But I can see why now. We're having simply a terrible time, very disorganized and trying to do all the work, Dad, Howard, and I. But I'm getting some good ideas from my home ec book. Did you know it says... Oh, uh, certainly, Mrs. Burton. I'll tell her you call. Goodbye. Now, let's see. General cleaning is made much easier if each person picks up after himself. Cleaning. Pick up after yourself. Yes. If Dad put his coat away, or if Howard didn't leave dirty glasses sitting around, or if... Martha put the newspaper away when she was through with it. Yes, then it might be possible to keep the room clean. But jobs such as vacuuming, dusting, and scrubbing must be done. They sure must. No wonder Mother's all worn out and sick. I don't know how she does it all. Uh-oh. More work to be done. Repairing, cleaning, cooking. A home with a lot of work. Just plain work. What a bunch of trouble trying to do all this work around the house. I was never cut out to be a cook. Here, let me. Oh, gee, thanks, sis. When Mom's sick, we're going to have to help each other. Now, take a look at what I've been reading. What? When work at home is planned and organized for cooperation, there can usually be more time for leisure. Hey, sis, maybe we should get organized. Good idea. Let's try it. You can take some jobs, and Dad will help. Mm -hmm. And I'll take some jobs. Then maybe we can get our work done. Good. Cooking. Cooking. That's what we've been doing. And now you're well, Mom. 
But we're going to keep right on helping you around the house. It'll make a big difference to you, too. And we've been learning to do all sorts of things around the house. Why, do you know that Dad can fry bacon without burning it now? <laughs> and here, it's all organized. I don't clean house anymore. That's women's work. Well, now, Howard, Mother's illness was an emergency, and we all had to pitch in and help. But now, and for the future, don't you think we better assign jobs on a better basis? Who has the time and the ability, rather than whether it's a man's job or a woman's job? What am I to do under this new plan, now that we're organized? You sit and rest. You just take it easy. Martha, may I borrow your home ec book for a moment? Certainly, Mom. I've been doing some reading, too. Now, let's see, page um, 231. Father's main work is away from home. This is true also of the children, who must spend most of their day in school. So, much of the housework falls on mother. So let's include mother. Now, suppose I break down the big regular jobs on a new list. Of course, some of our work at home is pretty obvious. Each one of us ought to pick up after himself. We that should is... clean our own rooms. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Since I've been taking care of my room myself, I can find things. <laughs> I'll clean up the bathroom after I shave. Where there won't be too many stockings hanging around. <laughs> That's the idea. Each of us picks up after himself. And in addition, has regular jobs. Family jobs. That will help me a great deal. We'll do it. I'll help with the cooking and house cleaning and that sort of thing, too. But there are a lot of odd jobs that don't seem ever to get done. Mm -hmm. Like fixing the lampshade or polishing the silver. Who's going to do those? We all have spare time. Let's make a list of all the odd jobs around the house. Then, when anyone has any spare time, he can just go to the list and take out a project. Super. I like that. Well, let's begin. What's first on the list? So that's how the tailors organize their work at home plan. Their ideas help their family. See how many would help your family. Each one looked after his own room and helped more with his own clothes. And the tailors had individual responsibilities for family jobs. And there were the odd jobs, which anyone could do in spare time. So the tailors organized and did the many jobs which are part of running a home. But there was a bigger lesson they were learning, unconsciously learning. A lesson in planning and working together. Does anybody want to make a new cover for this shade? I guess I could make a lampshade. I'm taking the frame to school tomorrow to solder. School! I'm glad you mentioned that. Look, I have a major sewing project to work up for home ec, and I want to do something big this time. Maybe a slip cover for the Davenport. Do you think I could? Oh, well, that's a wonderful idea, Martha. And we'll find money for the materials somewhere in the budget. We cover the Davenport and fix up that lamp. It's going to show these walls up pretty badly. Maybe you're right. It is kind of dirty. It's time we redecorated this room. Ouch. I don't think the family budget can pay for a decorator. Does it have to? The Millers paid for their own dining room and painted the woodwork. I bet we could do that, too. Why not? We could borrow the tools from Ed Miller. Then we'd only have to pay for the paper and paint. You know, I'm glad I joined the neighborhood club. Mrs. Burton knows a lot about interior decorating. And I think she could give me some ideas. And we could pick out our wallpaper and slip cover material and everything. You know, this is beginning to be quite a family project. It certainly is. Of course, this is more than a story of wallpaper and slip covers. It's a story of improvements in the tailors themselves. For they are a far happier and better family since they learn to share the work at home.